Hello, welcome to Rider's Rain Crochet. Um, today we are doing our elephant from our um, zoo animal collection. If this is your first time um, visiting with one of the zoo animals, you're going to need to go back to part one. Part one does all of the bodies. All 11 of these bodies are exactly the same. We are just going to do different ears, nose, um, clothes, accessories, I guess we would call it. Um, so today we're doing our giraffe, and we're going to go ahead and we'll get started. And we're going to do our ears. I am using this green yarn. It's just like a ball I'm trying to use up. That's what's so great about amigurumi is um, your little pieces can go so far um, when you are, when you're doing amigur smaller amigurumis at least anyway. So um, let's go ahead and get a magic ring. And let's do six single crochets in that magic ring. Five and six. Okay. Um, I will um, have the link to part one below. Um, and I will also have the Etsy link for the pattern that's from Crochet Pattern Goods. I will also have that link if you'd like to get the pattern um, that goes with, so you have all of the, the animals together. Um, mine are, all, we're, gonna, we're going to now increase all the way around, so we'll end up having two stitches, two single crochets in, ever, in one single crochet, all the way around with a total of 12. Um, but I do forewarn you guys that I, um, I do have a lot of changes in what I do and how I make, um, use her pattern. I love it, but I did a little bit of tweaking because I think everybody should. Um, so if you got the pattern and, and you're just a little bit confused cause I'm not doing the same thing as you, um, just go ahead and pick one or the other. So you're not trying to battle it. Um, and that will make it much easier for you if you pick up that pattern. Okay, so let me get these counted. All right, so we have our 12. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cinch that up because that is going to be the inside of the ear right there. And then from here, what we're gonna do if, is we're gonna do a single crochet increase all the way around. So we'll have 18 stitches, single crochet increase, single crochet increase, all the way around. Okay, let me get this straightened up. Okay, hopefully you guys look a little bit like this. Now we're gonna do go ahead and just do two rows of 18 single crochets. Um, that The pattern is three, but I liked two much better. So let's go ahead and just go around and get this two rows done. And I will see you in just a second. Okay, so we finished our second round. Let me go ahead and whichever direction you like better. Um, if you like, so on this pattern, this one here, this is the back side of the product. And inside here in this lip is the good side of the product. So you can do this either way. Um, I really like it this way, um, even though the back side is the wrong side to show. It, it really is going to be up to you. And then we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch, um, cut our yarn. Um, go ahead in your first ear, weave in. I know you guys, I, I don't know who's watching what, so I have to do a lot of repeating. Um, is that you'll, you can always take the long yarn off of your second item. 
um, ears, hands, legs, things like that, that you want, that you need to sew on and just take, sew one on and then just take your needle across and attach this one. It's less um, yarn hanging around, getting in your way. And that's how I like to do it. So here's our ear. I've got a sore on my thumb, so um, it's a little bigger. I was, I've been crocheting much tighter, but I'm kind of hurting, so it's a good. And then we're just gonna kind of sew this on like this um, down in this corner and tighten it up. I also, once everything was said and done, I went ahead when I sewed on, whichever one you sew on first, it feels better for you. I went ahead and attached it just a little bit way down here to the horn, so it was up there and it was nice and tight. Um, a couple things that I use, a um, couple ideas that I use in Amigurumi, um, if you want to, is, and it's if you have the patience, for the longest time I didn't, um, what I would do is I will use this um, three-in-one glue. I really enjoy this glue. Um, it takes very little, and what you can do is kind of tack this on and then put your pin in there. Give it like 20 minutes or so, and then you can take that pin out, and then you can really... Uh, sew things around so they're on sturdy um, and aren't going to go anywhere, but they didn't get crooked on you. So you need to make another ear and we will be done with that. Now let's move on to our horns. So when we do the horns, just so you guys know, you're actually starting at this tip. So if you want it the same color like this, then we're going to start with brown and transition to yellow. Um, you can do whatever it is, but this gives you an idea. We're starting up here and moving down. So we're going to do our eight single crochets. and eight. Okay. Now we are gonna do two more rounds of this color and we're gonna be doing eight again. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and walk through this with you. Try to tuck your tail if you can. I understand when it's little like this, your hands may not be working like that yet. Um, it takes, it takes time to have your body do, your fingers do what you want it to do when it's not used to doing it. So what I do is, um, I do about two short, um, on each round, um, before I flip it, because you guys all know that what happens here is that your work is on, is on the outside, but right now we are actually crocheting, um, the material is on the wrong side. So what we'll end up doing is about six single crochets. Then I spin it like so. And now I can try to work on it from above on these last couple stitches. So there makes, that should make our six. And I can get rid of him when I want. You can either cut him, if you crochet him in, you can cut him or use it as some stuffing in the ear. If it's in your way, just shorten it, be good to go. Okay, and now we have just one more round of AKA brown color and we will finish that up and we will change to a new color. And I'm gonna meet you around at the end of this. Okay, so we have our magic ring and we have two rounds around. I did not finish the last of the single crochet. Here's where I can attach my new color. That's what we're going to. I go ahead and I put a knot in it. Um, what this does, and it's just, it's habit for me because it's, it's another way not have to worry about sewing stuff, is that we're going to be done with this green. We're going to slip the half of the crochet, you're not all the way done with it, and bring that white through, and then we'll finish it off, and that'll gain us that white. So then we cinch it, and then pull the green, we're nice and tight, move the stitch marker, over and then I go ahead and just set it one time so just one single crochet to get this uh, white tightened up like so we don't want to take the stitch marker out 
but but now what I do is I'll come back and then these two tails I will go ahead and tie in a knot which means we go one direction then we have to flip it and then put the white in the hole the green in the hole then the white in the hole um, and then you can snip this and tuck that into your work like so now another way that you could do this is to go is to go ahead and slip stitch over and add again um, and it doesn't give as much of a step down like this is like it's really prominent when it looks like that and then we just try to sew that the back on um, or the where that is on the back of the product turn it around and then all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna do uh, four rounds of your other color whatever color you picked um, and I can meet you back here when you get four more rounds in your new color if you are changing colors okay so um, I went ahead and sh did the difference between um, bringing the white in and finishing off the single crochet or going ahead and tucking the yarn and bringing a new one in um, I know with that tucking where we pull it through the two loops um, is perfect in a lot of projects um, especially uh, amigurumi or not amigurumi um graphigans um but this is the difference so this one here let's see if i can get this closer probably not okay so this one on this side that has this little booger up there see that this is the one that we went ahead and brought through and finished the stitch with the new color. This stitch, this one here, has a, actually quite a bit of distance, and this is where I just attached it and started fresh. So I took the green, slip stitched it, weaved the end, and then attached it. Um, so really it's gonna be up to you what, what you want to do. At least you get to see the difference and um, what is going on. You still have this step there, as you would right there. For some reason, it's probably just because I shouldn't have used white. Um, but I guess you can see the big jump, the difference in the jump. Um, so it's really up to you. This is minute, having this up here like this. Nobody really is gonna notice it but us because we notice that kind of stuff. But if you are doing something that you want a much cleaner look, then go ahead and just tie off the old color and then start the new color in that same single crochet um, or the next one it doesn't matter um, sometimes it's better to do it on the one you just left so that you can kind of tighten up um, the loose end and everything anyway so um, i did not as you could see decide to go ahead and do four rows of this not for training purposes you guys understand that and two more rows so that you end up having your horns like this so um then we go ahead we're just going to do two we're going to i stuffed the horns really good so they're nice and hard and not flimsy at all and let's go ahead and move to our mouth or muzzle or nose whatever you would like to call it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to chain four let me get my little giraffe guy out of the way <clears throat> Okay, we chained our four. Now what we're gonna do is, in the second stitch from the hook right here, we'll start with two single crochets, not in the same spot, I'm sorry, just start there. One, two single crochets. And then in this last stitch, we are gonna do three single crochets. And it's gonna get us wrapped around. So there's the one on this side, here's one from the middle, and here's one to turn and go down the other side. And again, always, 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 and I'm just going to say it to help you, tuck your yarn, tuck your yarn. Okay, so now we did, um, we're going to do one single crochet. And then in the last stitch, which is up here, we're going to do two single crochets. Okay, and now this is going to be considered round two. Let me get this out of my way because I crocheted in. So you guys got a little bit better view. OK, 
Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and start in the next stitch. If you need your stitch marker, grab it. If you don't, then don't have it. I don't, if I can not have it in my way, it's just less things I gotta fiddle with. So we're gonna go ahead and do an increase. One single crochet. We're going to do three increases. So we are gonna do um, right around this corner. So there's one, there we go. Maybe, maybe, that's two. Got myself kind of tightened in there. And a three. And then we're going to single crochet. And we're going to increase in the last two stitches. Believe it or not, we cut our yarn. And we are all done with our nose. You can um, just have fun with it. You can either pop it up like this, more like um, the pig's nose was, or you can crochet it down flat. Um, the, the pig's is a little more prominent, sticks out more. And I went ahead and put the little nostrils in there. Um, but the giraffe one is not nearly as, as full as the, the pig one was. So, okay, now we're going to go ahead and go to get his little jumpsuit made right here. And I will meet you back then. And on to our little pants. So we're going to go and start with a chain 12 chain 11 I'm sorry about that 11 chain 11 we're going to attach I just go to the front um, of the first chain and do a slip stitch through we chain one and now we just make sure that our good part of the stitch is facing us and we're going to go around starting in the hole we came out of and we are going to do 11 single crochets we are going to do that two times i will meet you back here when you are done with i don't know make you guys wait on me here um done with both rows of 11 stitches Okay, now that we're back, um, what you're going to do when you finish those two rows, slip stitch and weave in all your ends. Now we're going to go ahead and make a second pant leg exactly the same way. Do not cut your yarn. We're going to do um, chain of 11 and two rows of 11 single crochets. And then we will meet back when you're finished to connect these two. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and just get into a stitch like so and we're going to do our first single crochet on that new stitch or not okay so now we're going to take and connect to the other leg. Make sure that our single crochets or our chains are at the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead and single crochet right to the other leg here. And then we're going to end up doing um, 22 single crochets. But the best bet here is um, you can place a stitch marker in here. For some reason, like every other time I get this count right. So it's better just to count 11 on one foot and 11 on another and we'll increase or decrease or whatever we need to do um, when we get to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, that's wonderful, that worked out. <laughs> Let's go back on this side here. And we can count backwards to save us problems if we want, um, or just we can just get in here and make it up. So that will work just the same. So we'll start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that looks great to me. Eleven. Here we go. We did not, if you can see, to finish on that 11, we did not use this stitch here. But this is where our stitch marker is, should be under this one. So when we start our next round, just skip this one. And we're going to go into this one with the stitch marker. So we'll finish this off. And then we're going to do another round of 22 single crochets. Again, for me, I need to skip this stitch. And we're just going to go all the way around now and our count should be at 22 because we just counted it so let's go ahead and make it around real quick and then we're going to create our straps um, if you're doing any of the other tutorials this dress we don't really have to plan ahead because you can spin a dress it doesn't make a difference but when you have pant legs there is something that um, you don't want those straps to be crooked your your outfit is too little it's not going to fit on your on your amigurumi so it's best just to get it right from the get-go and we will show you how to do that just a one second all right so we are back where we had started so um what we're going to do now is we're going to single crochet I think this is my starting sorry about that um, we're gonna single crochet four you don't need this I don't need this in here actually so let's do this okay one two three and four okay now if for some reason you had to make any kind of changes um, this you may not be landing right here we are going to end up chaining five and skipping three which is the strap so when you look at this, this is where your chain would go off on. Where do you want your chain would come off this right here where we're at right now, which is this one and is going to go over to this one. And now you can see your three and go, oh, no, that's OK. But if it's off a little bit, then go ahead and take a stitch out or add a stitch. Don't don't mess it up. It's it's too little to just be able to go like this and go, you know what? That's the three I want to skip is one, two, three, and I'll come back in there and um, get yourself set up. So like I mentioned, we're going to chain five. And we're going to skip three, one, two, three. And now we're going to single crochet eight. That is one. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. Okay, that is one, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight chain five skip three one two three single crochet and then your best bet is just single crochet till the beginning again some some of you guys may have four stitches two stitches i've had all sorts of different stitches counts when i've done this like my 20th time or 25th time at this by this point I guess um, and just finish off that round go ahead and cut your yarn and weave in your end and here's your little cutie jumpsuit 
pretty cute. It fits very snug too. It should fit very snug. All right, next. Okay, so by now I hope you got all your pieces on um, and everything's looking so cute and wonderful. So let's uh, have fun with it. Um, I did a little bit of acrylic cheeks here. I'm not sure how much of a fan I am. I'm still learning that technique a little better. It's, I don't really use paint very often on my projects. So um, everything has a learning curve, right? Thanks again um, for visiting the site and um, joining Right is Rain Crochet in this little project. And like always, please like, share, and subscribe.